So I am Ruchika Sethi Thakkar. Been staying in Gurgaon now last nine years. So I joined a civil social group, a Clean Gurgaon, a couple of years back, and uh, they were primarily interested in this in improving the sanitation situation of uh, Gurgaon. At that point in time, uh, one realized that you know you you need to perhaps do and understand where you. Personally, can also make a difference. Till maybe even three to four years back, um, you know, I just did not think. It's not that I wasn't a very, you know, I did not care for my environment, but I just did not think that uh, anything that I just discard, how it is going to be impacting me and impacting uh, the other person. So there is the kitchen waste, the organic material, the dry waste which is the non-biodegradable, then there is sanitary uh, bathroom waste and then we have got the e-waste. Within the biodegradable, I also have made two separate categories which is the fruits and the vegetable scraps and peels and then the stale old food which is actually kind of rinsed out and then sent out for the community composting. Composting is the most natural uh, science and what comes from nature we are going to give back to nature. Um, so we are doing aerobic composting basically, so it's not pit composting, it's, it's easy, it's very doable. This has a lid, it has uh, holes on top as well and it has a tap. Uh, which takes out all the extra liquid. It starts decaying. It will take out some water, so the leachate, you know, and that basically goes back into the greens. Collect all your leaves and you just need to add a little bit of uh, cow dung or your own compost and uh, every uh, three months or so once the bottom layers they start decomposing so you have a very nice good quality leaf mold or leaf uh, mulch somebody's waste becomes your resource and I think that's the only way that we can end up reducing the waste which is leaving our homes or our communities and definitely not being set to fire. In this bin we have the sanitary uh, waste and the rejects. It has the diaper uh, which has been wrapped um, in the newspaper and any other bathroom waste like you know it could be hair or it just could be any body fluid contaminants, um, even razors. Saw so how we have segregated uh, the kitchen waste, the organic waste, so you will have a much better quality um, organic uh, menu uh, which has not been contaminated and has not been affected by the sanitary waste which basically should be just going to the side of a scientific disposal. So um, this bin has all my e-waste. The e-waste has some precious metals and it has also some very very toxic uh, compounds and materials and you do not want uh, unsafe uh, waste recovery particularly of the e-waste category and only dispose something which you think that you cannot now uh, fix it again. Um, try and find out who the uh, the e-waste uh, authorized recyclers are but if an electrician is coming in they will just remove a bulb which is not working and go and put it in the kitchen waste and then we sit and we figure why are neurodevelopmental disabilities on the rise why do we have lifestyle pattern diseases why is the environment so toxic it is because we just did not understand what we used and how we threw it 
I have a daughter with special needs. It was only after her birth uh, that I realized that every single action you, I, anybody is making is actually impacting future generation in the most tangible way. We have, uh, Manavi has a neurodevelopmental disorder, it is not non-genetic. Where is the pollutants coming in, uh, which is creating certain impact on the birthing process as well. What you buy, how you use, what you use, how you discard. It is very evident and very clear to everybody that the decentralized solid waste management is a solution if understood and done properly. And it begins, the decentralization process begins at my home.